Gemini for Google Sheets is a really cool idea, but Coefficient's AI Sheet Assistant doesn't just guess, it actually builds for you. Let me show you what I mean with a side-by-side -side comparison. I've got both AI models looking at the exact same spreadsheet, so it's a fair fight. Let's start off simple. We'll ask for a little pie chart by account executive. And I'll drop the same prompt in Gemini over here on the right. Looks like Gemini got a bit confused what we mean by AE. We'll help it out a little bit. Pie chart by opportunity owner, which is the literal column name, so that should help. On the coefficient side, I love this, exactly what an analyst would do. Do you want your total by amount or by count of deals? Let's do sum of amount, sounds more useful. And Gemini over here, we can see putting out a pie chart. Looks pretty decent, except that it is a count of opportunities instead of sum of amount, which would have been a little bit nice if it asked. So coefficient put our chart in this new tab here, and let's drop in Gemini side by side for comparison. They look kind of similar. Um, obviously Gemini got these percentages a little bit weird. And the main difference is this is a static image. So I really can't edit this title, even drag around these overlapping labels and legend coefficients using a native Google Sheets chart. So super easy to modify. I can do it manually, but better yet, I can actually just send follow-up prompts. Let's say, actually make it a bar chart filter on one deals only. And we'll give the same question to Gemini over here. So Gemini can't really iterate, so we'll tell it, uh, yes, you can build this new chart. And it seems like it didn't fully understand what we meant by closed one deals, because that takes a little bit of business intelligence. And there we go, both systems gave us bar charts. Uh, let's just check in, coefficient has a pivot table behind the scenes, and it did add that one filter, so that's a big benefit. Uh, Gemini kind of skipped over the is one filter, which is pretty crucial. But now let's try something even more fun. I'm gonna clear out both my chat histories. There we go, starting out even more fresh, and let's be even more ambiguous this time. Let's just say, make a dashboard. I'll tell Gemini the same thing, make a dashboard. I love this prompt because it's so vague, the AI can really take it in any direction. Coefficients asking follow-up questions. I love this part. Again, it's what an analyst would do if they're doing a good job. What do you actually wanna see? Sales performance, pipeline overview, lead opportunity owner analysis. Let's do a pipeline overview. Again, I could just type in any prompt if I have something specific in mind. Let's check the Gemini side. It spit out a few charts. Um, they look somewhat useful, but again, these are gonna be static images. And most importantly, they didn't really ask me what I'm looking for. So pretty high level, generic, not the most insightful charts necessarily. Let's go to the new dashboard tab that Coefficient's building, and I'm gonna open this full screen so we can watch it build in real time. So you can see on the right, it's already decided which charts it thinks are most useful for my particular analysis. And it's gonna build a few pivot tables and charts here uh, to visualize that data. Now it's working on the second chart, closed one revenue by industry, also seems pretty useful and relevant. I love that Coefficient's adding in these titles and some text for just extra context on what the chart means, how to interpret the data. And finally, opportunities created over time. Looks great. But what's really crucial to me is this whole dashboard is now live. It's not just static images. So if I come back here, refresh my Salesforce data set, all of these charts, pivot tables instantly update. But finally, the real reason I'm excited about Coefficient AI Sheets Assistant is it just works throughout your entire spreadsheet. Let's take a look at how we can get Gmail data into our spreadsheet using AI to read through our email bodies and even PDFs. So in this example, I get a monthly AWS receipt sent to my email and I want that automatically sent to my spreadsheet. Let's search my email inbox for these receipts. And now I'll give a natural language prompt. The fields I want are date, email sender, total amount due. Send that to the AI. I'll show you in the meantime, this is the email I'm trying to scrape. Uh, so I basically wanna get this total amount as well as the sender and the date for each row. So the AI properly parsed my email to find those fields. Let's drop that into a new tab. So Coefficient's creating a new tab right now. As a one-time thing, it'll backfill all my historical emails, but better yet, every time I receive a new email that matches that subject line, it'll drop the details into the same tab. And it's not just Google Sheets. This is every one of your data systems. Let's try a SQL system, a data warehouse like Snowflake. Again, I can just use natural language instead of having to write my own SQL queries. Let's say here, get me top 10 industries with sales to Canada. Let's generate some SQL. It's written the SQL and we'll get a little preview down below. Let's drop this into a new tab. And there you have it. I'm so excited to see what you build next powered by Coefficient AI Sheets Assistant. It's better than Gemini and built for real work.